Hello guys, in this video I'm going to do some work on this uh, Lenovo G40-70 uh, Mainly I'm going to show you how to upgrade it and uh, put Windows on it Windows 10 that is and activate it with the Windows 8 key that this laptop, uh, laptop has in the BIOS So let's get to it Okay, so the specs, as I said, Windows 8, a few very small pressure marks, we'll see about how small they actually are. It's an i7-4500U, it has two slots of DDR3 and it already has one stick of 8GB installed. It had a 320GB hard drive, but I already took it out and used it, uh, used it in another project and here is a 500 gigabyte hard drive so that will be going in so a little bit of an upgrade from the get-go also i bought a charger for it it's a standard uh, uh, usb kind of uh, shaped uh, lenovo charger this is the new style lenovo uses because it's uh, flatter than the round ones and it's uh, 20 volts and 3.25 amps if I'm not mistaken yes I'm right so let's get to it and yeah this is a glossy screen a bit annoying I really do not like glossy screens but yeah it is what it is and also this thing actually has a dedicated GPU so to start, if you want to upgrade this thing, first remove the battery. You just pull on the latches to the sides and the battery lifts a little bit and then you simply take it out. That's about it. Then undo uh, two screws, these two right here. I already undid mine when I took out the hard drive and slide this down and take it out. Okay, here we have one memory stick and this is room for the second one and I'm going just to take it out not be upgrading the memory 8 gigs is way plenty at this point in time and these are the specs if you ever need to, to buy a second uh, memory chip for your laptop and you do not want to open it up uh, before uh, your new memory arrives. So that is back. We have the Wi-Fi card right here, a tiny one, uh, the cooler obviously, pretty beefy uh, heat pipe. So yeah, this is the place for the hard drive again. Uh, mine is obviously already taken, uh, taken out. Tiny speakers, nice. So I will do this process a bit in reverse and you need to imagine how uh, it used to be. There are two, how you call them, uh, I don't know, rails, whatever, brackets, one on each side. Uh, let me see this one, I think the correct position is like this, yeah. And they were actually uh, attached to the hard drive with these four uh, short but pretty thick screws. So this is what we need to do. We have here the connector. That means it's in the lower part. So to be able to plug in, let me take the rails out of the way for a moment. This is the position of the, of the hard drive. So it clearly needs to connect to my rails, something like this. So let's see if this is in the correct position like this. Let me try and zoom because you might not see very well here. Okay, if this is the position for the rail and this is the position for the hard drive, it's pretty obvious that they need to 
a line like this. Let's pull the screws in. Don't over tighten the screws, it will not help at all. Just make sure they are tight and that's about it. So first rail in, we have the correct position and for the second rail, let's see once again what is the correct position. Not this one, yep this one. So this rail comes in here like this. As you can see, this laptop actually uh, supports pretty thick hard drives. When it comes to laptop hard drives, uh, some of them are way thinner than this. I'm thinking this is a 9mm and they are obviously 7mm and I think they are even 5mm or something like that. So uh, yeah, the thickness of the new hard drive shouldn't uh, be a concern for you because this thing will uh, support it. This screw doesn't want to go in. It's a bit stubborn. Okay, so it's tight. Lower it in position and push it forward and we are locked. At this point uh, we are actually missing a screw. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put two of them at the end and then I'm going to start searching for a screw. This is how I got uh, this laptop, it was actually uh, missing. One will be here but that one will be going through the whole case so that is no issue for us. This is just a hole, no need to put a screw in it. But here we actually do need a screw. I know for a fact that I don't really have really long ones. But I might actually have this tiny one in hand. So if the thread is right, this should actually work even if it's... Re nope, sorry, wrong thread. Way, way too short. Let me see, maybe in another hole the thread starts a bit higher and it actually seems to be doing that in this one so maybe I'm lucky yep I'm lucky so this screw actually works in this hole so we'll put this one right here yeah this is a really really deep hole as you could see the screw almost uh, totally fell in before it started to screw in but now it's tight sorry about that and it's all okay. Put the cover back. Wait, what? A bit of a bit of a boo boo. Because it seems that these are too thick for a, a thicker hard drive. Exactly what I was talking to you, and I was assuring you it will fit. Uh, yeah. It seems that uh, depending on what your particular laptop ships with, uh, although it will physically fit in here, these cushions are way too thick for uh, for a big lap uh, big hard drive. So I'm going to remove them because I don't really care about them because this thing is in position no matter what. This will not move. It has four screws holding it all around. Zero possibility to get uh, moved. If you want, you can try and squish them. They will actually uh, squish. Maybe, maybe I should have actually done that, but I don't think it's a good idea on a hard drive to push on it. Because the tolerances inside are quite uh, quite tiny, especially in laptop hard drives. 
So you, if you push on it uh, too uh, strongly, yeah, I, I don't like the, the sound of that and I don't like where that uh, is going, so nope. In my situation those things are going out. If you decide otherwise, maybe you want to, I don't know, cut them in half or something like that. That is only your decision and I can totally understand if you do not agree with what I just did. Okay, so the battery goes, let me just zoom out a bit, the battery goes in like this. Maybe I, I have a feeling that you didn't actually see anything I was showing you with this thing, so I, I've removed them. If you want you can cut them in half and use uh, them a bit thinner so you do not press too much on the hard drive. I, I'm, I just want to make sure I do not damage it uh, by pushing it too tightly in place. So put the battery in. just went in two seconds ago okay so it has a weird way of uh, entering its position okay lock it in place this one is auto locking so it just jumped by uh, jumped by itself this one you need to lock it with your hand so yeah next Connect the charger and see if this thing powers on and hopefully there are zero issues. This just doesn't want to get out of the way. I think it already did power on. Yep. We saw something uh, with Lenovo for a second. And it's trying to boot from the Wi Fi. Uh, actually, Wi Fi? Yeah, I think Wi Fi card. And it's unable to do that. So, uh, yep. Yeah, we will uh, give it something better to boot off. So I'm going to plug in this USB drive and put a Windows 10 uh, clone on it because I don't really want to uh, install Windows from scratch. Boot failed. Yeah, I know that. Boot manager, escape, no bootable device, restart system. I'm going to shut it down, power it on once again. And if we are lucky, this thing will actually boot by itself from uh, my drive. If not, I will... Uh, nope. So, I need to, to see the key combination for this thing to boot from any device that I want. But let's go into the BIOS first. Because we did not get inside the BIOS and maybe some of you actually want that. So, should be F1. Just pressing F1. No, isn't it F1? Okay. But, yeah, it actually might not be F1 because this is not a ThinkPad. Ooh. Must do some digging around. So this has different uh, BIOS keys from uh, the ThinkPads. Huh. Okay. So this is... Uh, <laughs> incredible for me. This is the first time when a laptop has a dedicated BIOS key. Or switch or whatever. It's right here next uh, to, the, uh, to the power connector. And it's just a tiny round key that you need to push with something a bit sharp. Uh, try not to be metal. Let me try and show it to you. Yeah, my little baby girl 
starting to cry so hopefully she won't start too much until I enter the BIOS. You can see right there so you need to push it when powering on this thing. That is weird and unneeded. Why? But yeah, anyway. So power on and push the key. Was it enough? Yeah, we seem to... No, it wasn't. So I need to hold that key, that switch, that button. Yeah. Lenovo, why you do this? So, holding that in. Ooh, so I didn't even need to press the power button. What? Okay. Pressed it and I'm not touching anything again. So it actually does power on from that particular key. But no boot menu, no. Okay. We actually do have boot menu. What? Yeah, let's go to. Let me zoom on this thing for you. So you actually power on the laptop from that particular uh, button when you want the BIOS. Which, now that I think about it, if it actually does also power on the laptop from that button, it's not that bad. Because you cannot really miss this screen. As long as you power it on from there, you will get this screen and there is no way to miss it. So, maybe it's better than trying to press a key like a crazy man. I don't know. Okay, so we are inside the BIOS. You can see the CPU, the memory, whatnot. Uh, DVD writer, whatever. Uh, hard drive, 500 gigs. Uh, I will set everything the way I, I like it. As you can see, we have the discrete GPU, which is pretty nice. It's a Radeon. Uh, and whatnot. So I will set everything up and then we will boot from the USB drive. Oh, optimize defaults for Windows 8 74 bit. Let me see. Do we have any for. Eh, nope. Let it like that. It's good enough for Windows 10 also. Okay, so we want to boot from my uh, thumb drive. If you have problems uh, on not recognizing uh, all of your boot devices, I have a video showing you how to boot. Uh, how to access the boot menu on this particular laptop and how to set it up so you can see even uh, legacy boot options not only the UEFI enabled ones so here we are actually in the legacy mode because this is not UEFI enabled so yeah I'm going to put a Windows 10 64 bit image on this thing and hopefully it is able to access the key from the BIOS of this, this laptop by itself. And just in case it is not, I will uh, extract the key with a small program myself and uh, insert it in, uh, in Windows 10 and hopefully it will simply activate. So let's get to putting uh, the Windows 10 64-bit image on this thing because that one already has every software that I use installed and the settings the way I like them. So I uh, use way less time, time to set up a laptop than if I directly install Windows 10 and all the programs and do all the settings and whatnot. Okay, so Windows is up and running. You can see here the CPU, the memory, whatnot. Let's try, I just connected to Wi-Fi, let's try and activate Windows and see if it can do it by itself to get its key from the BIOS. I'm not sure about this. It might work or it might not. Remains to be 100% seen. Nope. It seems it's uh, not activated and it cannot do it. So I need to extract the key myself and enter it. So be back in a moment. Okay, so I just run Produ key. You can find it online. And as you can see here, it actually find, uh, found the BIOS key. So I think it has an option to, to copy this. 
yes it can copy the product key directly so in theory uh, now all that I need to do is go here and click on change product key and it's doing something and control V and let's see if it actually sees it and activates hopefully all should be good I have activated the uh, Windows 10 just these days with uh, some Windows 7 keys but uh, I think this is the first Windows 8 key yeah. and it actually doesn't like it hmm. so I need to see what's wrong with it okay stopped uh, pursuing the license uh, problem for a moment because I realized the battery was not actually charging it was flashing somehow like it's flashing now but it was more rapid and in some kind of uh, code or something uh, and I shut it down for I don't know one hour one and a half hours I have not uh, I don't have exact uh, time for this shutdown I haven't uh, timed it or anything uh, and hope for the best so I, I simply hoped that being shut down it will actually start to, to charge because last time uh, when I simply tried to remove the plug, plug for just a second it shut off instantly so it was holding absolutely no charge so this blinking I don't know what it's trying to tell me but uh, I don't see on this battery anything so 0% available plugged in not charging so yeah something's fishy with this laptop or this battery or I do not know <sighs> yeah I'm going to try and shut it off and see I, I tried another charger still didn't uh, charge at all so for sure there is a problem somewhere and I'm not in the mood for something like this I wasn't planning on this laptop to have uh, issues I tried the hard reset and uh, I'm back at uh, the flashing code and this battery doesn't seem to be charging so I'm thinking it's actually dead I will try to jump start it not really sure if I actually can jump start it with phone batteries you can jump start them fairly easily with laptop batteries <sighs> way trickier okay the battery is in the freezer because I'm unable to force it to start uh, charging so it is probably in uh, uh, some kind of uh, sleep mode because it obviously got over discharged so uh, yeah I'm hoping that the freezer method will uh, will make it work once again but most likely it will not but uh, yeah that remains to be seen and again uh, I was unable to uh, activate Windows 10 with the Windows 8 key I do not know why it refuses again I was able to activate a few uh, Windows 10 copies with Windows 7 keys and I'm sure they also work with Windows 8 keys but doesn't want to work with this one so yeah what I'm going to do put on this SSD because I want this to happen as fast as possible uh, but this SSD doesn't fit wait what oh. thinking this plate underneath it is the problem so I might actually want to get out 
get it out of the way. Yeah, for sure that is the problem. Uh, put a Windows 8 copy on this thing. Uh, upgrade that to Windows 10. So Windows 10 is activated. And then plug this back in uh, with everything set up exactly the way I want it. So, yeah, that's gonna be fun, isn't it? But cannot really do anything about it. It has to be done. So, yeah, let's do some high speed. Okay, so Windows says can't talk. 8 is booted up. Let's try and activate it. <sighs> Hopefully it will. What? Enter key. Ah, I need to enter the key once again. Why are you not taking the key all by yourself from the BIOS? Okay, I, I will enter it and be back in a moment. Wait, 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 I'm not going to do that. I'm an idiot. We don't have a network connection. That is why it's unable to do anything at this point. So let me plug in my Wi-Fi card for which this particular uh, Windows clone should already have a driver. But yeah, it needs a reboot because it's a sick little puppy at this point. didn't even need to do anything it activated by itself after it got uh, a connection to the internet so now i need to upgrade it to windows 10 so it creates a valid windows 10 license so when i will put back the other hard drive onto which we already have everything set up the way i like it uh, it will recognize it and activate that one. So from 8 to 10 and then to another 10. Yeah. Media creation tool. And I misspelled, miswritten, miss whatever, but who cares? Let's get to it. We have an SSD. This should be easy peasy. Obviously it won't, something won't uh, go right, but at least I'm trying. Okay, download the tool now. I don't care what files I'm leaving where, because I'm not going to be using this Windows install and upgrade and whatever. So that makes things easier for me. Okay, run it, yes, this I can close, this I can close, accept, upgrade this PC now, next, and now it will download Windows 10, and this will take a while. Okay, the upgrade process is finished and we have an activated Windows 10. Ta -da. At this point, uh, I'm going to go and sleep some more <laughs> and uh, when I wake up in the morning, I'm going to be swapping the hard drive and hopefully the other Windows uh, then will actually activate because normally at this point a digital license was created for this particular laptop that will activate any Windows 10 Pro version when it uh, is connected uh, to the internet. So we will see if it works or not. And we have an activated Windows 10 on the other hard drive as you could see on the good one so yeah i have no idea why it just didn't want to activate with the windows 8 key again 
with uh, some Windows 7 keys it activated just perfectly. I think it was something related to this particular key, but what exactly, who knows. So now uh, I'm gonna take the battery out of the freezer and uh, let it uh, get back to room temperature and see if uh, it will start charging. But uh, yeah, normally that's a completely separate video where I try to to make the battery charge once again on this particular laptop. But who knows if I will actually succeed or not. Okay guys, so it's been uh, about a week since I've worked on uh, this laptop. I don't even remember where I, I've left it. <laughs> uh, but the original battery is in pieces. I tried to open it up, tried to recharge the cells one by one, but the electronics is in uh, protection mode, so it will never allow these cells to be charged. You need uh, specialized equipment to reset the electronics. So uh, I've sold uh, batteries like this in the past for about three dollars, something like that. So three dollars for that whole thing if anybody can uh, have a use for it uh, in my hometown uh, I will sell it uh, and bought another battery for about fifteen dollars or even less delivered uh, as you can see here let me try and zoom there the corner too much zoom in it says about two hours and 48 minutes at 91% so this battery is uh, actually 90% 1 hour for, uh, 41 minutes it just went down yeah it's doing stuff in the background probably uh, it's a working battery not a new one but a cheap one and it's working so next in this video I will give this laptop a good clean and uh, I don't know I, I think I told you I already installed everything uh, yeah, I need to change the name of the user because it's from the computer that I've cloned it from. Uh, let me see all drivers, but I think they, they were already installed. So shouldn't be any problems there. Windows 10 activated on this thing. Let's see, device manager. Come on, move it. Yeah, it is doing stuff in the background for sure. Yep, everything activated. The R5, R5 uh, M230 uh, dedicated GPU plus the Intel HD integrated one, dual core plus hyper threading uh, CPU. Pretty good. So let's give this thing a really good clean now. Tada! And it's finished. It just has a little bit of wear on the touchpad, but uh, this uh, rugged uh, or uh, I don't know how to to call this texture <laughs> uh, touchpads always get this when they are used a lot because you actually uh, polish it in the area where you use it very much. And uh, yeah, let me just give you a quick rundown of the specs once again at the end so we have this 2 gigabytes uh, GPU R5 uh, M230 and obviously the really weak uh, Intel HD which uh, we will say nothing about and Windows activated, 8 gigs of RAM, the nice i7 here, and the 500 gigs hard drive and obviously DVD writer, but uh, who uses optical drives anymore? Maybe I use only when uh, I'm unable to install uh, software on some random laptop from the USB drive, but that's about it. So. Also the battery is fully charged, so it is working without any issues, although you cannot see that probably now, which is really good. And this laptop, I think it's still doing stuff in the background because I can hear the fan a little bit more than I like. 
yes it is and it's almost at 3 gigahertz turboing right now which is pretty good so let's close everything right back and that's about it guys that's about it for this laptop pretty nice i really like it charger right here original obviously so yeah hope you've uh, enjoyed this video uh, if you did please give it a like check out my other videos subscribe to my channel uh, if you like it and as always see you in the next one bye